are you? Uh, Tuesday. She's back. She's not behind the camera today. She needs back behind the camera. Uh, we're nearly all systems go. Um, today, and as I said yesterday, I was going to talk about one of my favourite bands, um, Teeling. Uh, they are one of my favourite bands. They are. They have always had a special place in my heart. Oh, that's so sweet. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. <sighs> Pity I didn't have a special place in their heart. No. T-shirts. Not getting. No, not going to happen. No. No. Ads. You, Seriously. They've, T-shirts. They've been flogging that day. I know, I know, I know. I know. Right. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But anyhow, look. Um, whether they love me or I love them, it, it's irrelevant. They do produce some cracking whiskey. Mm-hmm. They do do some doozies they as do. well. They do do some doozies. <laughs> they do do some yeah. do do as well. Um, but we'll start off on the bottom shelf, Sinead. Um, we kick off with this one. I mean, this is a uh, pot still. This is the first pot still out of the new Dublin distillery. Um, I think it was a, a momentous occasion, 125 years or something like that. Um, one of the things that I don't think was communicated correctly or that came along with people, people bought this with the expectation of a funny, finished, polished product. Oh, God, yeah. And it wasn't. No. Being polite. No, but it was an evolution. It was an evolution, and that's the thing. And I don't, I, I, I think that either wasn't, people, that wasn't people clear. didn't get it no. or, or people didn't, or wasn't communicated properly. The, you can taste it in it. Oh, you can yeah. taste the evolution in it. Uh, they were under. They 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 wanted to be the first uh, Dublin whiskey back out. My take on it personally is they didn't need to rush it. They had no. There was nobody else at the races at the time in Dublin. Roman Co weren't there. You know, Pierce ha- had their whiskey out from from Carlo and all that sort of stuff, yeah, and Liberties weren't ready. So they probably had another year or twelve months. Yeah, but how many times months. have you been so excited to do something that you just done it? All the time. Yeah, well then there you go. I want glass, that. Glass <laughs> houses, people. But anyhow, so that's the pot still. So the pot still has then evolved into so many different things. And the, the one thing that people's comments usually on the teething, oh, they release so much. And, and my always come back to that is, the sole purpose of a distillery is to make whiskey and sell it. It is not to sort of, for vanity or anything else. No. It is to make whiskey and sell it. So if they're bringing out loads of different things, I really think it shows... A, a, a huge endorsement of the whole Irish whiskey industry, but also it just shows that they're one of the leading guys in you know uh, trying and testing different things. Innovation. Uh, innovation. <laughs> I don't know if Alex calls himself that, but Alex Chasco has always done that. I mean, when he was with Cooley and that, he wasn't afraid to push the envelope. No. But, you know, he, he he got the peat back on the market and all that sort of stuff. So it shows in all that they do. They've got ones like. The Stiggins Fancy Pineapple Rum. I mean, look. Yeah, you, you like that, don't you? I do like that. Uh, and we actually had a bottle of that in the April auction. Is that what you of said to me? Of the Stiggins Rum. Of the yeah. Stiggins Rum itself. Yeah. Uh, they have the Plantation Rum there as well. Uh, I'll jump to the other end, Sinead, sorry. Uh, you've got the Riesling Cask. One of the things that they've been really clever with is wine cask finishes. Mm. And I know from, from touring it up there and all that, even the yeast that they use is a wine yeast that they use in, in their fermentation and all that. Fermentation. Um, <laughs> it's free, isn't it? Um, the wine is... They're, they're brilliant at it. And then, like, there's a Pinot Noir one. I know there's other ones there. I had them lifted there. Oh, there and I put them back down. And that. So the Riesling and the Pinot Noir. And then they've done things like... That's a wonder the wood. I then know, they've done... Cherry wood. Th- well, that's exactly where I was going next. Is The wood itself... They've made it now front and centre with their Wonders of Wood series. But they've always been at it as well. I mean, they've the the distillery exclusives, the Chinkapin, the the Chestnut, the the Hungarian Oak. They've been, again, pushing it. And some of them have been outstanding. The Chinkapin has been very, very good. That's another good one there, the Brandy PX Chestnut Cask as well. That's another cracker. Uh, And then presentation. I mean, you can't talk about teeling. And not talk about presentation. I mean, they really are special. I mean, even even something as simple as just a gift pack for the. I think these are travel retail, or these no, these are in, in in regular retail. But again, you know, a lovely gold and black embossed tin. It's got the tealing raised motif on it with the 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 phoenix. Um, two two branded whiskey glasses, tumblers, and then the bottle of the rum casks, small batch. 
again not an expensive article but it's just a bit of effort going into the presentation and they really are good at that even the regular black one the, the yeah, them, tins are cool. them tins are just gorgeous that's a distillery exclusive again and just the raised lettering and everything on it but they've always done it no, they have. so go, we go back to the original TWC which is the Teeling Whiskey Company which is the first not incarnation of them but it was the first name that they had after they left Cooley yep. so when Jack and Stephen set up uh, Teeling Whiskey Company what evolved into the Teeling Whiskey um, their presentation and I mean this the, I'll start with this Sinead this is gorgeous this is the 30 year old vintage reserve only 250 bottles of it their presentation is just outstanding I mean the Centenary oh, yeah. is another one that's really really exceptionally good Um. There's a Perspex case within that, and that slides out and it could stand on its own. Again, you know, the gloss black uh, case presentation <coughs> box. And then, as I said, the, the Teeling Centenaries, the five releases that they've done in Dublin Airport in the, the whiskey collection. Look at that even, the 26-year-old gold bottle in a wee wooden box. Again, on, a, on its Perspex plinth, the lid on it, vintage reserve, gold bottling. I mean, it's just all quality oh no it is and they're brilliant at it and the problem is why aren't they a multi multi thousand euro bottle of whiskey if it's at Middleton in front of it people will be losing their shit over it and, and as I said they pay more for a regular Middleton very rare every year you know on the secondary market when these bottles are genuinely low production numbers I mean there's only 250 of those yeah. there's only a thousand of those you know they're, they're gorgeous but then you go back to the regular ones. I mean, the Revival is a set of five. The Renaissance is the new one with the taller decanter yes. bottle. What it brilliant. Was one before that, wasn't it? The, 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 the um, English cardboard box was with the Gathering. The oh, the Gathering, the Rising and the Liberties. Yeah. So again, that was the, the TWC. TWC yeah. That was the first ones that they'd done as well. That was before anything else. That was 2011, I think. Was that 2011, 2012? Yeah. I was the so. first years yeah. of those. Um, award multi award winning whiskey. Mm-hmm. I mean, they've won more. I'm not thinking myself, am I? Um, did you beat me again? You bit me or something. You're such a delicate flower. Uh, I am. Uh, multi award winning. I, they were the first Irish whiskey to win the world's best single malt with a 24 year old. And again, you know, it goes for a good price, but it should be going a lot more yeah. because in years to come. You know, when we're celebrating, when we're standing up and applauding Irish whiskey, they were the lads that were leading the charge. They were the ones that were there. I mean, you know, lashing it out and, and, and getting it out there to the world as well. They've got great coverage. I mean, they, I know they've they've great um, distribution all over the world. And I know, like, Connor and, and Robert and the, the, the reps, the BAs, they're all over the world. Oh, they really okay. are. And they're on the ground and they're making positive impact. But then we move to the new presentations. I mean, the 32-year-old, the, the new 30-year-old as well. Yeah. They're just stunning. I mean, look. Look. Rum and PX Sherry. Only 750 bottles again. You know. Gently. Gently. Softly, softly. Oh, it's got the lovely tall. I love tall that tall the bottle. Yeah, they're gorgeous. The first one of them was the Jim Barry, was it? The, yeah, the, the, the Australian, Australian Shiraz one. Yeah. yeah, it was gorgeous as well. I love that bottle. So, that is so cool. The, the tall, bottle, tall yeah. decanter bottle, it is lovely. The only issue I would see for them now, again, shelf space, shelf space, back I bottle. know, but again, it's a premium product, it'll be higher up than everything exactly. Else, it should so be up and visible and on display and everything else. Yeah, the headroom, as they say, the headroom up in the lofty heights. Uh, that's it. I mean, again, it constantly frustrates me and I, I am one of these guys who is eternally optimistic that at some stage the world will see it. Well, I think everybody should see the world the way I see it. He does, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, 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 when I become president of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I hope that people will come to realise, will look in years to come, will look back at the price of the bottles and go, God, cheap you know yeah. that's i mean again we're doing that now with a lot of the middletons the perils and stuff like that you're looking back you know when they originally came out and they were four and five grand you're going jesus yeah. what i'd give to buy one now whereas these are still cheap now 
the world has got to write itself at some stage. I think when, yeah, the, no, when, the, saying, yeah. when the American market really cops on to them, when the I, Asian market really cops I, on I to them. I think it's just because there's, there's so much whiskey flooding the market now at the minute yeah. that yeah, people yeah, are getting yeah, yeah. a wee bit sidetracked and are confused and and don't know sort of what direction to go in. Yeah, I think you're so right, Katie. I think after right. everything settles down and everybody's in or out, as they say, yeah, then it'll start doing its yeah. thing. And in the meantime, we'll keep selling it, and I'll keep saying that I'm a fan by, and keep hoping that somebody will send me down t-shirts to fit. There you go. Kate, we are so much of a teething... Look at this, Katie. Turn around now. Look. She's got the phoenix tattoo on her leg, lads. Seriously. <laughs> All I'm sure of getting is in, I love Jack and me heart. <laughs> I mean, what the fucking hell do you have to do, like? You know, Seriously. <coughs> Teeling, 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 teeling. I love Jack. I love Jack, yeah. <laughs> Stephen, not so much. Uh, oh, no, no, it's actually, I do Stephen. like Stephen as well. No, I do He's like lovely. I'm <laughs> joking, it was for a tattoo, for visual effect. <laughs> uh, Anywho. And anybody who comes to my office sees oh, God, the wall yeah. of teeling that's up there and the great presentation I have. So again, lads, you know, just remember us when you're doing product launches and stuff and... T-shirts mainly. I mean, just T-shirts. Man size. Man size T-shirts, not skinny Dublin hipster size. No, he doesn't do hipster T-shirts. So that's it. We're back tomorrow. Uh, We're going to talk about American. uh, There's some crackers there I've seen. I know. I'm eyeballing. Uh, You're eyeballing them already. I noticed that as well. Um, We'll talk about them tomorrow. They can stay there until then. Yep. Uh, And in the meantime, uh, teeling, teeling, teeling. uh, T-shirts. Dead horse. Dead horse. I don't. Here's the minute. <laughs> See you. Bye. Good night.